The day has finally come where Spotify is turning this Spotify car thing into an e-waste nightmare. Or are they? To give some backstory, back in May, Spotify sent out emails and announcements stating that they will be breaking all Spotify car things today, December 9th, 2024. Due to this, many people started fighting Spotify for either their SDK or a refund in its entirety. Well, today being the day, why don't we check out to see if they fully bricked it. Here we have an Android phone running an older version of Spotify with the settings in the app for setting up the Spotify card thing. Everything works as is, allowing other media playback as well. So today being the day, it doesn't seem like Spotify actually released their latest app version that supposedly shuts down the Spotify card thing services. So it seems like we're going to have to wait until that app version gets released to then test to see if it actually shuts down the Spotify card thing, preventing it from further use. While this iPhone is running the latest version of Spotify, if we go here into settings, there is no option for setting up the Spotify car thing. Now this Spotify car thing is running the no premium firmware. Let's see if we can still run it. If we go into Bluetooth, add the device and see if it works. So here we are on December 12th, three days after Spotify said they were gonna brick all these Spotify car things. They just released a new app update. So let's check it out. Inside the Spotify app settings, it seems like they changed the menu out a little bit, but we can still find the setup process for the Spotify car thing, which means they actually didn't remove the web server. So we're just gonna connect through, see if it still works. And it seems like everything still works. Now, what I'm going to do is wait until the next Spotify app update comes out. At the time of the recording, it should be within the next week or two or the day that this video comes out. So we're just going to wait for that and then we'll test out to see if the functionality still stays. And I mean, that's all we can do at this point is just wait until Spotify releases an app update that actually breaks all the Spotify car things. So here we are on December 18th, almost a week later, and we have a new app update version 9.0.2. And then we also have our Spotify car thing plugged in. Now the device was already paired to our iPhone here. I didn't remove it from the Bluetooth settings. So we're just going to update the app and see if it can still connect through. Now, because it wasn't a major app update, I still think the web server is going to be in settings and it's going to allow the Spotify car thing to still be used. Now here we can see that it actually connected through. It's just waiting for us to select the media it wants to play. Now the Hey Spotify microphone is just a small bug that has actually been around for a while. It's not Spotify's doing, but back to it. So it seems to connect through. We're just going to check into settings and see about the Spotify car thing in apps and devices. Now once again, because it wasn't a major overhaul, I still think that the web server is going to be in most of these Spotify app updates. I just think they're just going to discontinue support and not release any new features for the Spotify car thing. Now, I've been looking online and haven't found anything in regards to them not breaking the Spotify car thing. But I honestly think that the next major app update for the Spotify app will remove the entire Spotify car thing functionality. But I mean, we're a ways away for that. So once that comes around, we'll probably just make another YouTube update or YouTube short covering this. But for the time being, Let's continue on and see what else we got for the Spotify car thing. So it seems for the time being, the only updates that have been posted actually allow the Spotify car thing to still work. It still has the built-in web app and everything. So for the time being, the Spotify car thing has not been bricked, which is honestly not what I was expecting. But something I didn't do during the review is explain how this thing works. When you connect the Spotify car thing to your device, the Spotify app runs a web server over Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Those were the files we found partitioned on the device. Now this web server, whether it's Android based or HTML, 
was patched through the no premium firmware, allowing users to use it without needing the request of Spotify premium. But that only patched it when it was checked on the Spotify car thing. Since you need the Spotify app to be running to actually communicate with it, removing the web server pretty much bricks it to be not usable at all. Now, back when I was testing this device out in the review, if you close the Spotify app, as in for shutting it, it actually stops all music playback, whether you're using the Spotify app or local music playback. Now, if you're still watching, here's where the good things come in. I found a few alternative OSs I want to flash onto this to actually continue its use and development. The first one is built by Bishop Dynamics about two years ago and was more of a proof of concept to build off of. Nothing really works, like no touchscreen or buttons or anything, but it's a good start to anyone wanting to build something off of it. The next one is also built by Bishop Dynamics and has some meat to it. Flashing its OS and some setup with a Raspberry Pi turns this touchscreen display for home automation. The tutorial will go into more information and its use case is not limited to just this. A bit of information is it removes all other media on the device and touchscreen actually works. So if you're trying to dual boot this, you may be able to, but we'll see when we get there. And the one we've all been waiting for, the Spotify desk thing. Now there are a few different variations of this. This one by Anson Lichtekfus, this one by Pi PRJS, and this one by It's Riprod. Now the only ones we're gonna be focusing on is this first one and this last one, as this one is temporarily closed for development due to university. Now we may or may not take a look at both in their tutorials, but I'm just going to take a moment and talk about both as we can look at them right now. Now, this one does require a Raspberry Pi to actually power this thing, kind of like how we saw our Debian Chromium kiosk in our previous OS that we were going to take a look at. Now, if we scroll down, we can see that the original development uses the Spotify API key instead of Bluetooth, meaning you are going to need a Spotify premium account and develop an app through the Spotify API. Now, if we keep scrolling down, we can see that it's pretty simple to set up and that your Raspberry Pi is going to be actually running everything through the local host. Again, looks like it was built off of that Debian kiosk from Bishop Dynamics. Now this one by its rip rod seems like it's running off of your PC rather than requiring any other hardware. Now, if we scroll down, we can see that it runs with the Spotify car thing and plugging it into your PC. Now it's gonna be running a server off the PC, similar to how everything else uses the Raspberry Pi, but this time it just runs off your PC and a web server and runs it through that way. Now, unlike the other ones, this does not require a Spotify API key. I believe there are Windows, Linux, and Mac OS versions of this server, but they are still in development, so there's probably many bugs to come with this. Now, if we click on feature set, we can read that the desk thing is a simple car thing, Chromium based website. So it's pretty much just like that Debian kiosk that Bishop Dynamics initially built. Now, again, still in development, but we can see that its current feature set is that the buttons work, touchscreen seems to be working. There's different integrations through the current music playback, Discord integration, weather, and more things to come. Now we will be covering this specifically in a tutorial. I'm unsure if we're actually gonna cover this other one in a tutorial, as this one is pretty much like that Debian kiosk we just took the look at. Now I know this doesn't fix anything for using the Spotify car thing in the car itself. Hopefully soon someone or I will make something to see if we can get that to work. In the meantime, we have this. And that pretty much covers the desk thing. Now it seems like it's breathing a new life into the Spotify car thing. We will be covering this on a tutorial, like I said before. So pretty much just stay tuned for that. And it seems like the community has taken it into their own hands to prevent this Spotify car thing into becoming an e-waste nightmare. And that's about it. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for our next tutorial video for the Spotify car thing. And that's about it. I'll see you all in the next one.